Hello, my friends. This is Moogle Master 102, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. This is a blind playthrough, and we've gotten quite so far to the point where we're in purgatory, pretty much, it looks like. But, uh, holy shit! Look at this city! Dude, everything's all black and white in that. Like, is this what it looks like? I, I don't know. It's like we're in purgatory or something. That's crazy. I've never seen this before. Alright. Well, we're gonna head over this way. And of course, we'll go ahead and save our game. This is probably gonna lead us to our final boss. So, uh, it should be interesting. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go. Oh my god. Is this the ha This is Toriel's house, what the hell? There's a heart-shaped box inside here. Hey, just like the Nirvana song, right? A heart-shaped locket. Oh, what do you know? Okay, so equip that, right? Yeah. Cool, it's in here. A worn dagger inside the box, will you take it? Sure. So let's equip that too. All right, uh, let's see how our stats are doing. Oh, okay, not bad. We have some good stats, that's cool. So, it's in here. Room under renovations. Oh. oh, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. There's a key here. Okay. So, the frogs are telling us a story. It's a mural. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Ah. So, I took the key, so I'm assuming I... The stairs that were locked up. Azrael. The king's son heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. What is going on? The way is blocked by two padlocks. Howdy. I'm in the garden. If you have anything, let me know. I'll get off your chest. Please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen hallway. Okay. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Oh my god, this is really killing me in the f like this is really hurting my feels, man. Stop it. I don't I don't like this. This is really kind of making me sad. You unlock the key I'll lock the chain. Alright, so I got both the keys. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh no! The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Oh my god. The next day, the next day, the human died. Oh my god! Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into the being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all.
but Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every hu human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, will give us hope, and will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. It's down here. Oh. Safe spot. Damn, man. What a really heartfelt story. Alright. Let's head through this long hallway. What? What's going on? What? what? Is that Sans? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Together, you'll determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you'll be judged. You'll be judged for your every day, for your every action. You'll be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain that you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough experience, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for love, level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself on to others but you you never gained any love of course that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart no matter the struggles or hardships you faced you strive to do the right thing you refuse to hurt anyone even when you ran away you did it with a smile you never gained love but you gained love but does that make sense Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge for your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take on your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and, and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown the towel by now. But you didn't. We didn't get this far for giving up, have you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on. So as long as you do what's in your heart. I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Well, we're here. We're about to meet the greatest challenge. The throne room. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and see King Asgore.
Dum dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. Well, I think we've prepared for this. Hopefully, we got lots of stuff here. It's another throne covered in uh, my sheet. I'm gonna go and save our game. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. All right. Let's do it. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped in underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please, do what you must. Continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh my god! What? No. What? Oh my lord. What have I got myself into this time? Oh god. I, I, oh fuck! Oh, this music though. Uh, look, I just want to talk to you. His hands tremble for a moment. Okay, I think we're getting to him. Ow! Shit! That actually kind of hurt. Look, Asgore, please. I don't want to fight you, dude. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, I don't have anything. Crap. Oh my god. I'm being really dumb. He firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped and his defense dropped. Okay. Uh... Okay, I have one health. Seems talking won't do any good. So I have to hit him? He's the only fucking boss. Okay, maybe that's not true, but he's like the only boss I actually have to physically hit. Oh boy. Fuck. Okay. 
a little uh, intense this fight, but yeah. <clears throat> so during this fight, I realized I didn't have any healing items. Good thing I went ahead. Good thing with the power of editing, uh, we were able to deal with that because that was dumb of me. But yeah, um, I guess we're forced to fight him. We have no other choice. He got rid of our mercy button, so we couldn't spare him or anything. So he's completely aware of the fact that we're sparing people, and he wants to put up a fight, so we'll give him it. Even though we haven't hurt anyone. Yeah, you wanna you wanna move, move, and or don't move, don't move, and then move. That's that's the little sig uh, signal thing. I like that move a lot. This is really badass. In here, I wanna. Ah, oh, god. Okay, I want to eat another star fray. Star fray. Ah, oh, god damn it! The stupid hand. Man, this is crazy. Ah. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and do our thing. Oh, wow, I got that one nicely timed. Okay, that hit me, which kind of sucks, but alright. Oh my god, I swear to god, every fucking time someone calls me. Alright. Just go and attack. Okay, we'll attack him. Bam! Almost got him half. Oh shit! Now things, now things are getting a little uh, claustrophobic here. All right. We're almost there. Okay, so this one you want to keep moving. go. Got him down to about half, so just gotta keep whittling him down. I mean, not doing that much damage, but yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, I'll just keep fighting him. We have no choice. Now I have to actually heal. So we got another Star Fray. Or Star Fay. <laughs> I stopped moving there and I was trying I was gonna move, but I didn't, so. <laughs> that was scary. Spooky! Okay, so here. Oh, oh wow, I got hit there. Damn. Well, we have lots of healing items, so we can be well, not as reckless, but we can try and... We can we can hold off a few more turns, so we can still whittle them down. Hopefully if I don't get hit. Shit! Okay. Hopefully I don't get hit here, because I want to get an extra turn off, because if I die, I'll be pissed. Okay, this is... Uh, shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <clears throat> okay. Whew. Eat that burger up. Mm-mm-mm. That's fine. I'm so glad I bought healing items. Shit. Really wish I didn't do that. Yeah, I know he has low HP. There we go. <sighs> so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let the monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. 
I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this day, take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Uh, I can't. After everything I've done to hurt you? You'd rather stay down here and suffer? Than live happily on the surface? Human. I promise you. For as long as you remain here. My wife and I will take care of you. As the best we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories. Eating butterscotch pie. We could like... Uh, like a family. <laughs> I hate to cut this video off. But next episode, we'll conclude this game. Because I don't think we're done here yet. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.